Zardeno, owner of Tanology Skincare Salon here in Escanaba. We specialize in skin, tanning, and makeup. Today we're going to actually do a tack 2 cover up on Mandy, um, which is perfect for a bride who doesn't want to show their tack 2 the day of the wedding. First, what we're going to do is take the oils out of the skin. That way it'll adhere better to the tack 2 and last all day. When we cover a tack 2, we use actually pigment that is camouflage pigment that they use after plastic surgeries to hide bruises. It will not rub off on your dress. It is completely waterproof. It really covers well. It's very hard to cover a tack 2 because as you put um, pigments and foundations on the skin, it absorbs in. With this camouflage um, airbrush foundation, it actually lays on top of the skin and it makes a bond. First thing we're going to do is cover it in pigment. That's the second thing. I'm going to take all the pigment out and make it white. This works great on any part of the body. It can cover acne scars on the chest, hyperpigmentation, veins, anything that you don't want to see on your special day. Mandy's is actually a good one to do because it's actually one of the trickiest because it's all blue. So it's a great one to kind of show exactly what this can do for people. Airbrush makeup, it's a lot different than regular foundations because the regular foundations you're working with the undertones. With airbrush makeup, you're working with the overtones. So you actually have to pass sometimes two different colors to make sure it matches well. Everyone has two, um, either yellow tones or pink tones in their skin. That's where a lot of people make a mistake with their foundations is that they'll actually get a yellow tone and um, they'll put yellow on top of it and they put orange. So what you want to do, just like in hair color, just like in skin, there's a color wheel and uh, you want to go opposite of what your skin is. So if you're used to pulling orange, you want to go more cool and you want to use a base that actually has a little purple in it to counteract that. Um, so what's different with airbrush is actually you, you work with the tones, so you actually work with them. So because she has a little bit more yellow tone in her skin and she's olive, we throw yellow on top. But now what we're going to do is we're going to counteract how gold it is with a little pink. So instead of working with the undertones, we're actually working with the overtones on top of her skin. She has a lot more um, yellow, but she has just a little pink. So we're going to do a lot of yellow right here, pigment, and just a little pink to counteract it. I'm just drying it right now. Ta-da! No more tack two for Mandy. Wow. I trust Tara in her airbrush. And I've seen her cover up a tattoo and it was completely invisible. I love Tara.